So I recently discovered this new AI chatbot called Janitor AI or Janitor.ai. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to begin and how to use Janitor AI. So let's head over to their website. You could go ahead and search janitorai.com and you'll be on their website. So this is an amazing website in which you'd be able to talk to specific characters, hold conversations with various characters here. So when you first enter the website, you would need to register if you haven't already created an account. Then you could register using your email and password, or you could register with Google. Now we're going to select register with Google and use one of our Gmail addresses. Now let's just select one of the random ones. Now, once you've entered the email, it will ask you to set up your profile. Now we could set a name. Now let's set our name to hacker777yt. And you could upload your avatar. You could set your username. Now the username is actually um, important. You could set your about me. And this appearance here, this is what the AI chatbot will be using when they are talking to you. So you could set your description here if you want. So let's select update profile and our profile has now been updated. We could go back to the home page and we got a little warning here. And as you can see, we are now logged in. We can check out our profile. All right. So we could select any one of these chatbots, right? Let's say we wanted to talk to um, this one right here, Miles Morales. Now, as you can see here, character tokens, 783 tokens, permanent 500 tokens. So we have various character tokens to choose from. We could view the public chats or we could see user reviews. So let's go ahead and talk with Miles Morales, right? However, if we select chat with Miles, as you can see, it is currently locked. API not ready. Click to set up. So we're going to have to set up our API. If you're a developer, you could integrate this in your website. And as you can see, it has various GPT versions. This has GPT, up to GPT-4, which is really great. So there are two different models of API which we could choose. We could choose OpenAI or Cobalt AI. So we're going to be using OpenAI. Now, this is what ChatGPT uses. And as you can see, we have to generate your own API key. This is an instruction as to how to get it. And OpenAI is not free. They will give you a $5 trial um, for 500 messages. So to go the free route, let's use reverse proxy. Now, this is adding the OpenAI server to your chatbot. So in order to access the OpenAI reverse proxy, you need to go to Google, search OpenAI reverse proxy. Now you need to open this GitHub link, the first one right here. And once on this page, you'd need to scroll all the way down until you see the option to join their Discord server. Now, once you click on that option, we will be integrated over to Discord. So you could just select any one of these, click on next, um, just select or skip. We're going to skip these as well, skip and read their terms and conditions and click on finish. All right, so we're in. So what do we do next? We have quite a bit of option here. We need to scroll down and look for bot. Now under bot, you need to type slash key. All right, so once you get a key, now because the server is overloaded, it might have an issue. Now let's copy the key and head back over to where we were. Now this is the reverse proxy key. Now we would need a reverse proxy. So we could go back to the Discord chat and then we would need to go to reverse proxy. That's reverse proxy to the side here. Scroll all the way up. And as you can see, we have this right here. Let's copy. So this is the reverse proxy that you'd be using. Let's go back over here and paste. Now, as you can see, we could set various options here. This is safe for work. Let's see what. All right, so you could change your custom prompt down here and select save settings. Now, once that is done, API is ready. 
using OpenAI. Now this is using GPT-4 and we have 250 credits for the day and each chat will generate a different um, amount of credit based on what you ask. So the API is under maintenance, check the Discord server. So sometimes that happens, the servers are overloaded as said, but all right, so as you can see, the API, he is allowed to be used from this IP. If you want to reset authorization, we need to go to the Discord server. However, um, you will have those issues as well, and you could check out the Discord server to fix those issues. But as I've said, this is a really great um, tool to use to chat with the AI. So let's go back. And as you can see up in the upper right corner here, we could also create our own character. You could give it a name. You could introduce it, set specific tags, male, female, or whatever. You could set the type, public, private, and the rating. So that's basically it. Once you're done, you'd simply need to create your character and begin using Janitor AI. So thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful and it got you to use Janitor AI or how to create your own AI. So thank you for watching. Hacker Chip Plus have been out.